My name is Patrick Quinlan. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders at Conversant and I get the awesome privilege of being the CEO. Uh, I was born and raised in Germany, uh, but moved here to Denver when I was 15 and am now a proud citizen of, of Colorado and, and a part of the city of Denver that I love. Uh, the most important thing about Conversant is our culture and who we are as a company uh, and the vision that we have to drive ethics to the center of business for a better world. The company started uh, when I had the opportunity to meet Steve Foster, who exemplifies the Colorado tech community probably more than anybody else. And so the ideas and visions that he had alongside um, several of our other co-founders came together. Um, and when it did, it turned into Conversant. And since then, we have taken that idea and built an incredible platform that manages ethics and compliance for 700 customers around the globe. And one of the things that we're really proud of is our product is not only in 50 plus languages, but it's actually used in over 150 countries a month. Pretty extraordinary when you think that the whole idea just came together eight years ago. So one of our values is uncomfortable and another one of our values is open and honest. And something that Conversant embraces is the willingness to look at our failures. And we're constantly challenging ourselves on how we can do better. And in 2020, I think we've even leaned into that more. What are the small things we can do that can make a big difference? And I think that's um, something that is really pushing us forward as an organization. The community in Colorado has had, I think, a distinct advantage certainly over the coast in the sense that this is actually a community. CEOs here help each other. CEOs don't compete. We don't wake up every morning to steal talent from each other. It's a very welcoming community and it's a community that really believes um, that we all benefit, all boats rise when the tide rises. The technology landscape in Colorado has elevated so much over the years. To even be in the same category as these other companies is, is humbling. Um, when you look at what's been accomplished over the last decade, you see the very best talent coming here. You see incredible ideas coming here. And one of the benefits that we have here in Colorado is that climate and the idea of the impact we have on the world is, is first nature to us. And so I think the problems we're solving here, they're really big problems, they're really big opportunities. Um, and I think to live in a very special place, to live in a place where people care about community, care about climate, are willing to have meaningful and hard conversations is a massive opportunity. So again, just honored and humbled to be in the same category as these other companies. So one of the things that we've learned, all of us in 2020, is that the impact of COVID is not equal. The impact of COVID on the black and brown communities, the inequality that it's creating, the massive gap between those who have the benefit and good fortune to be able to grow and succeed through this and, and other parts of our society that are just being even further pushed down. I think everything with COVID has to start with that part of the conversation. So first of all, we acknowledge that we very much are on the fortunate side of this, that we have an opportunity to build a stronger company, grow ourselves individually, professionally, and personally, and take care of our families. And I'm very honored that we've been able to do that for our team. But what we spend time talking about inside the company is making sure that we never forget about those inequalities and that we have a responsibility as a company to make sure that we do everything we can to not only have gratitude for where we are at the end of this year, but meet that gratitude with obligation and responsibility to reach into our community and make sure that we can do anything possible to lift up those who haven't had the fortune that we do.